Hi, it's Tate. This video is for anybody that might want to work with Nanjing Marketing Group. We're looking for employees or contractors, but also partners or collaborators. We're looking for anybody that might want to help us scale the business. I'm going to explain to you why I'm talking about this on a YouTube video, what the business is like, the kind of problems and opportunities we have, and then some uh, specific things that I think need to be fixed or that we might need help with. Now, I'm creating a video like this because I think it might be better than just using job boards and receiving cold emails. The cold emails I get usually aren't right for us. They're always trying to help us generate leads. I don't need help generating leads. I'm good at marketing and just from word of mouth, we have enough business, uh, but I need help scaling the business. Now for job boards, we will go online and we'll define a certain job and we'll find people that are seeking that, seeking that job, but you know, um, sometimes we have problems that maybe can't necessarily be solved by hiring full-time employees, or maybe we just don't know what type of person necessarily we need to look for because there are multiple ways of approaching a problem to, to solve it. At Nanjing Marketing Group, what we do is um, we help connect people from China and elsewhere to make it easier for them to do business together, to make it more profitable for them to cooperate with each other cross-border. We have two solutions that we provide. Now, in the past, we used to work in a whole bunch of different industries, and we do basically anything that clients ask us to do, and that kind of made us too dispersed where we weren't able to focus as much and get really, really good at certain things. Nowadays, we just have these two solutions. One of them is B2B marketing, and the other is education marketing. What I mean by B2B marketing, business to business marketing, is we are helping businesses from outside of China, usually from USA or Europe, but it could be anywhere. We're helping them um, generate leads within China. So we'll get Chinese businesses to contact them. Then these two businesses will work together and do business together. The big trend I see coming out of China now with these businesses is a lot of them are expanding abroad. They used to focus on the Chinese market because it's huge, but now they're expanding into other countries. So to do that, they need all these different service providers. They need, um, they need professional service providers like uh, lawyers, uh, they need marketers, um, they need logistics, they need uh, software as a service, they need technology, all sorts of different things to be able to expand abroad. They also need the help of some of our clients to just make their businesses more efficient. So the way that we're doing marketing for these Western businesses is we will promote them in China through search advertising. We'll help them with their website, WeChat marketing, and Juhu marketing, mostly. And some other things as well. For the education side, we're helping higher education institutions, universities, colleges, technical schools, we're helping them to attract students from China, but we're also doing it in a way where it helps them to control their brand because normally the, the ways that they attract students from China, they might um, not have control of the messaging or how their school is presented to these, to these students. So we're providing them this service where we do their social marketing, their content. We also do search marketing, help them build a small website and host it in China. And uh, it, will, it will generate results. Some of the main progress that we made in the last couple of years was by improving these solutions and just making them better and better obsessively. Um, each of these solutions that we provide has these different elements within it like search marketing, like landing page creation, like SEO for the websites, et cetera, and a whole bunch of different items. And we do them over and over again. We systemize them and get really good at them. Uh, another thing that I think will become a big benefit for a business is that we're charging people, charging our clients now based on performance. This gives us a lot of upside in the future by getting some of those campaigns to do really, really well. With any um, company or institution that we help in China, um, there are three scenarios that could happen. Uh, maybe Chinese people just don't really want that product, no matter how good the marketing is. Okay, That's the worst case scenario. And I do a lot of these YouTube videos and blogs and all that stuff to help educate clients so that they don't have this scenario. Number two, 
the campaign might go pretty good and it's profitable and we're able to maintain a few marketing channels and keep it running for a, a long time, okay? Number three, it will go really, really well. Um, the marketing, the sales, the product, everything's, everything's in order, the team's working together really well and we can make a lot of money through this. With our business model, we want to align everybody that is involved in the project, all the way from our client CEO, all the way down to, to me, to our managers, uh, other people in the client's company, and the frontline workers. All of our team members are also compensated with, uh, with profit from their projects that their team makes. Um, by team member, I mean employee. And by team, I mean there are project teams within Nanjing Marketing Group that are tight-knit. Each of those teams will include a account manager, a search marketer, uh, a writer or video creator, and somebody that does social marketing too. At least it will; those teams will include those people. All right, now what are some of the specific problems that we face? Just again, I'll recap that I think that our problem is scale. It is easy for us to generate the leads and provide high quality service for a fixed number of clients. Uh, there are 20 something clients right now and uh, that, that goes quite well, but how do, we be, how do we expand it so that we're able to maintain a very high quality of service and manage more projects or larger projects? Some of, here are some of the examples, okay? Um, for SEO, we're running a bunch of different websites. We're helping all of our clients build their, not all, we're helping most of our clients uh, build small websites hosted in China and then we will optimize them over time for SEO. Our team members are uh, decent at SEO, but we want to do more R&D to get really ahead of the pack and systemize it so that we can increase indexation speed, increase rankings, increase organic search traffic more quickly. Our team already has the content skills and even the search advertising skills, but we could use more help with the, with the SEO. It's, it's been very hard for me to find people that are really actually good at SEO because it's one of those weird things where um, it's kind of like, like black magic or something. Um, some people think they know a lot about it, but they, but they don't really, or they use shortcuts that would be bad for the brand or bad for other marketing. Okay. Number two, um, we generally hire uh, account managers within Nanjing and they develop well, um, but one of the rules that I have at most times is something like account manager, manager and I have to watch over quite a few different projects. We could do these better by Im improving our reports, training account managers faster, um, improving the usage of our project management tools and communication methods with, with clients. All this could potentially be done better. We have a service where we help our B2B clients uh, qualify their leads. What that means is that uh, a customer will come through Baidu or some other source, they'll land on the website and we have on-site chat available for them. That means that that customer can um, talk on real time on the website or connect through WeChat or QQ. And then we'll just ask a couple questions and we'll help move them on to the next stage, which could be a meeting with the salesperson, for example. Um, and this, this works pretty well. Uh, but it could be made more efficient. It's a bit awkward to manage those different tools and um, gather the data and coordinate the marketing and salespeople. Okay, so to recap, there are several different people involved here. There is the marketing team from Nanjing Marketing Group. There are the salespeople who would be in, in a client company. And then there are the customers that are landing on the website. And we wanna be able to streamline the communication through all of those. It's really important to get that communication because we use it to feed the, uh, the other marketing activities that we do. Next, uh, we are doing more webinars for our clients, webinars and live streams. We've had pretty good results with education and we haven't done enough of them for B2B marketing yet. I think that webinars and anything to do with video are really important for the future, so we're investing in those areas. If some people already know how to run webinars really well, 
then that would be something you could work with, with us on. Uh, for now, for B2B, what we'd be doing as webinars is we just sometimes just throwing it in with the current packages we're doing for, for clients and trying it out. We could keep doing that, but it might be faster if we can find somebody that can help us get r running with that sooner rather than later. Okay, next up. Um, everything to do with the analysis and construction of our overall m solutions could be useful um, because our solutions are very focused on results. We're getting paid from our clients based on results. Some parts of that are very measurable. They're easy to, it's easy to tell when somebody clicks a Baidu ad, lands on a landing page, performs an action, right? But some parts of it are actually pretty hard to figure out how to value. And that would be, for example, content that we're posting on Jahoo or other platforms or with influencers. Um, the content marketing part of it is, well, let's say this. We know that it helps bring results because when we're doing content marketing for clients for a specific period of time, for a year, for two years, etc., the results just start building up and they start to get more purchases, more leads just organically or from direct traffic. But we aren't able to model it out with analytics or statistics in a tight enough way as I would want to. So I'm thinking through these things. I'm measuring and, and monitoring all these projects, but it's a lot of work to do on my own. One of the more interesting problems that we're helping to solve right now is the recruitment funnel for our clients. For some of our education clients, we help them get the application, but then after that, we don't do anything else. The way that this industry normally works is like this. The school will do their social, their content marketing for branding purposes, and they don't usually measure the results very much. Instead, uh, when students want to apply to a certain school, they will do, through, they will do so through education agents. These education agents vary in quality. Some of them are really great consultants. They can really tell a student um, a lot about the, their different options and then help them through the whole process. Some of them, I think, are more like middlemen that aren't really necessary in the age of the internet. The specific things that we have to help a student with are, for one, understanding the school, but also understanding the city, the campus, everything else that's going around there, the country. Um, and we should help them with their visa application. We should help them with everything that is involved in them choosing a school, applying for that school, and actually going and, and studying abroad. I think this gives us a lot of room for potential partnerships here too, because I don't think all of this needs to be done through the agent. We are approaching it from several different directions. For one, we do our marketing, which already works quite well. For another, we're coordinating closely with admissions team in some of our uh, client schools. Uh, and then third, we are creating a separate brand, Liu Xue Cha Hua Hui, that is helping students learn more about their study abroad options in different countries, and it's also just entertainment too. We're getting a ton of likes on that yet. Uh, we're gonna have to expand it to make it more useful and uh, we're going to have to expand it to make it more useful for students and teach them how to do different things. I think there's a lot of room for partnerships here because the students that we're attracting for these schools not only need to go to the school, but they also need other things. They need to get a, they need to get a visa. They need to secure a place to live. Um, they might be interested in buying various things to help them with their, their trip. Some of them even buy real estate. I don't know if we'll get involved in that, probably not. Um, but there are a lot of different opportunities here. And we're taking the approach of basically unbundling this whole process of the student application and then putting it together in a new way that I think will be more profitable for everybody else involved. Sometimes I want help with our own marketing, our own education videos and blogs and stuff that we do. Once in a while, I'll have somebody help out with the blog, writing, a, writing an article, but I'm open to collaborations with other people. That could be um, where I help create content for them or they create content for me or we have uh, joint webinars, joint videos, 
pretty much pretty much anything like that I am open to. These are some of the examples of the specific things that we might help need help with. But again, really overall what we need to help with is just taking our solutions, making them even better, improving our sales, improving the scalability of the business. If you're interested in any of this, you can email me at tate at nanjingmarketinggroup.com or just through the contact form on our website. And so that I know that you're not a random person, you can just put donuts in the subject line. Then I will read it. Otherwise, I just see you know 20 new emails. I see 20 new cold emails a day, and I, I might just click them and not really check them. Thanks. See you later.